and welcome to this tutorial. So basically, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make trash edits or character edits itself. So what I did in this character edit itself is uh, found a pre-drawn or pre-colored uh, character. I usually don't do these anymore, but um, I just did this in the sake of this tutorial because I'm really lazy. And most of you guys already have pre-colored in characters or something that you find from the anime itself. So this is a character from an anime called Fate Night or Fate Stay Night. Yeah, something like that. And um, I chose this character so I could do this tutorial easy. And I'll show you guys step by step what I usually do. So what I do when I first start is actually uh, have a original image and copy that layer and tile the original image to an edit so i would have two of the same image i usually do this because i mess up my edits usually sometimes by fixing problems later i can you know met, you know go back to the original image and copy the same layer so you no know, um basically what i want to do is i want to select a color for his eye and just change everything in the coloring because i don't like this beige or whatever color this is like a caramel this is bl bland and i just didn't really like it so what i did was i uh used a quick masking tool here uh make sure that the black is on the top and um this basically colored in his eye as i first started and you know, when you're coloring his eye, you basically just want to get the fine edgings of the eye and try not to go in the black part, as you can see right here, uh, this stuff. And I just zoomed in and just, you know, colored in everything. I'm not going to do everything here. So this is what it looks like. Then I clicked on the quick masking tool again clicked on select inverse because you want to have it selected on this layer itself go to layers uh new fill solid color mode uh soft light okay and then we're gonna change his eye to like a purple or a blue it doesn't matter what color you want to choose just something that you know would match this kind of tone you know you want to have it like kind of the same Kind of perspective so i'll just do like a big green or mild green so let me change that color to like a blue or like a darker i don't know i chose purple because it's easier with the soft light i mean you could do hard light but it's just making the, the eye a little bit more dark as you can see right there and you just mess around with uh color palette here and yeah so i'm just gonna delete that and basically what I did was in these coloring layer folder itself was I colored the eyes both the same color and um, this is my result. It kind of looks better than the this whatever color this is and I want to make it more vibrant instead of making it more bland. I didn't really like that bland color. So yeah. Next what I did was I wanted to make this glow a little more sharper. It's kind of uh, distorted with this uh resolution i don't really know so what i did was i make it i'm i made it more like vibrant itself uh by making a screen so the screen what it does is it makes it makes everything like glow basically so i just made it more glow uh and i'll show you why it does that more often so uh once again i did the quick masking tool and did the same thing again Followed by the jacket. So let me zoom out and go to the jacket. I changed the color to red. I mix, you know, I mess around with different colorings. I, I like this green, but then, you know, I like the yellow. I, I switched around. I really like this purple. Right now, I really like this purple. I wish I used that, but I didn't. So I'm going to use this red uh, slash orange, whatever color this is. So, uh the jacket and basically the same thing with the quick masking tool and when you guys are doing the quick masking tool you want to make sure that you're on this layer the layer with the eyeball on if you're doing this layer i mean basically just but uh you want to be on this layer and 
when you're doing the quick masking tool i usually what i usually do is to make it this much easier for you guys is to just color in the whole entire like shirt or jacket and then just i mean it could be a little more difficult but it's just easier for me and much faster i mean what i used to do is just color in everything by myself like with my mouse and i uh, would erase the uh this excess red and i would make sure to make the background like uh as parent like this or make it uh, a bright color so you guys can actually see where your mistakes are at so i'm not gonna continue on doing this step back and show you guys what i did next so with the coloring for the jacket was all right and i like that but now I wanted to switch it up and make it um, more vibrant with his hair. So his hair was all red or this whatever color this is. And I wanted to make it like a brown or something that like a little bit more dark gothic kind of theme. So I did this and I, I like that. It looks brown, grayish br brown. So what I did was I colored in with the quick masking tool again and make the uh color the hair brown by just you know messing around with the color palette here and then i changed the inside of the shirt black because black and white you know it's better and then um <clears throat> i started with the death note or not death note death nike i'm sorry death nike symbol so uh this is the original symbol it looks like all right as it is but i wanted to make it seem like the the clothes that he's wearing kind of goes with the creases and everything and just found this result because it kind of kind of went with it and i want to ma match it up with this uh pocket whatever yeah so i want to match it with the pocket and then i could have added a uh adidas Kind of design but uh i was too lazy so i wanted to make this you know basic and easy for you guys to go see and uh next i did the masking so the masking itself is basically just finding uh like making an image like a black uh rectangle and all i did was i made a this is a white rectangle but I'll make the fill black. Uh, I use a special coloring so I could make the this thing different. And what I did was I basically just cut out the edgings. I'm just gonna make it it's gonna be white right now, so you guys can actually see. It makes it more easier for me. Now let me make another layer. Show you guys what I actually do is uh. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, whatever. So basically what you want to do is make the masks like, uh, for example, like this. And you want to line it up with the, uh, you want to line it up with the, with the mouth and just zoom in, you know, get it into the, uh, the flow of the face and use this pen tool. Let me try. use the pen tool to like line it up with the face i mean you don't need to be pitch perfect all the way because you can actually like extend the photo itself but i recommend you know take your time use the pen tool and just like cut out the edgings of its of the uh this whatever and then select okay and then delete the background and then uh select deselect i mean it doesn't look good right now but yeah, it doesn't look good right now, but I just mess around with it every single time, creating new layers. Uh, and then I would get this result and then continue on getting that same result, but I wanted to make it seem it lined up right there. Then I wanted to do it again by copying that layer again. I always make copies because I want to make sure that my mistakes are not, you know, messed up. And I always make, mistakes when doing these because uh i i usually want to rush my 
my edits and not spend all my time on them. So what I did next was I add the teeth and I'll give you guys this media pack for the uh, trash game teeth, trash game logo, everything like that. So you guys can go and download that. It's officially on their website and I'll let you guys have that downloadable in the description down below. Um, so I started with the original layer. I mean, I kind of messed this up because I was trying to do this tutorial so many times. So um, the teeth is like a huge file. It would basically look like this. So I shrink the teeth and just try to line it up with the mask. And then, you know, every single time I made a copy <clears throat> and then I would make another copy to uh, erase the, the excess white from the teeth. And then next I would have to do is uh, add the shadowing. So basically what I did was I hid the teeth and lowered the opacity with the mask. And for the shadowing, I actually do is I use a paintbrush, uh, change the sizing of the paintbrush itself, make the uh, brush its first selection, uh, change the opacity about like a 35, 37 ish. You don't want to have anything higher than 40. Then we make your flow about like a 50, nothing higher than 60 because you're going to make the thing dark. So I would recommend making a new layer. <clears throat> I already done these so I basically just want to show you um <clears throat> the different brush strokes so oh, let me just hide that I'll do this again so you guys can actually see so basically the brush strokes itself is um showing you guys the darkening edges of his nose and you want to have the shadowing on there because it you know kind of makes sense for the nose to be there and if you didn't have the shadowing it's like you doesn't have a nose so uh i asked to do the shadowing for his face the side of it right here and you know just doing the same thing again and you know you don't need to worry about it being on the mask itself it's just above the mask layer and if you need to just use a eraser tool make sure on this thing because you're just trying to you know erase the fine edging and it's just brushing away so i'm just gonna delete all that and show you guys my end result so i got this end result followed by um more of the shadowing just on a second layer and i'm just gonna delete the top so this is what i have and then when i put it above the teeth it just looked like oh it's on top of the teeth and there you go and I want to make sure also that the, the teeth is lined up with the mouth itself because um, this will make it seem like, oh, it's, you know, perfect centered and whatnot. It's more easier for people. The little bit of details itself makes it better. So what I did was I uh, added an earring. Now, uh, the original design of the earring was basically like this. It looks like a gate something like that so i didn't really like that i just used it as a template and then i added a design on the top to make it you know have a design so it doesn't matter what design you want but you just need to find like a round image uh and that's basically what i did with the whole entire character itself now the extreme parts i usually do uh is i added a gfx now you guys can find GFXs uh, throughout YouTube. I don't do it. find them for you. So I use this GFX uh, template and or pack or whatever. And I did the same thing by copying the layer again and making it go behind his hand. Oops, let me. Okay, so I made the uh, same layer again, duplicating the layer. Erasing the edgings with the with, with this and then just basically you know having everything there. So I wanted him to have lightning hands because I don't know. Character lightning, whatever. So um basically that's what I did and that's my tutorial.
I don't know if this will help you. I'm gonna probably do another tutorial with the mask itself and showing you guys how to line up the mask and how to do this. But I'm gonna be for sure uh, giving you a link to the Crash game website for the media pack that they gave you. For the teeth and the uh, Trash logo. And um, I was gonna do more to this character, like add a tattoo, but I thought that this was fine enough as it is, and there's not a lot of room, so, uh, that's it, that's basically what I did, and, uh, for these, I just basically did an overlay palette, so, just a little quick tip, so if you're doing, like, an overlay and making the coloring, like, more bright, I just recommend making the layer, like, as you can see right there and then just i don't know select whatever color just a bright color doesn't matter and then go to your paint bucket tool and then just coloring that make the thing an opac uh an overlay change the opacity to about like i don't know 40 to 50 doesn't matter and then um you're basically you're gonna get something like that it's gonna yeah it just Good. so i just like that one more because it looks more purple and uh yeah that's basically what i did in this tutorial and i hope this helped you guys uh i'll do more maybe